Warning, this program contains strong language and content that might require actual thought and critical thinking. Viewer discretion is advised. It's that time. Time to kick off your shoes. Time to get grounded and reclaim your magic. And time to fly. We are the Barefoot Bangarang Tribe, and this is Tarot with an Attitude, featuring the Bangarang Man himself, the Reverend Rob Lee. Good morning, everybody. It is February 18th. Welcome to Tarot with an Attitude. Bangarang, remember, what you put out is what you get back. How are you setting your intentions today? If you caught my TikTok this morning, it was really brief about uh, dealing with uh, the high priestess today. Today being at eight, mastery, learning what's going on, taking action, moving forward. I wanted to come here live and take a little more time. I felt like we needed to take a look at this a little more in depth for from my tribe, my barefoot bangerang tribe. So here we go. I'm going to bring this up. Let's see what we've got here. And I want to show you what was actually given to me about this using your intuition in today and mastering today. The first the card that came up naturally was the high priestess, and she came up right side up. And we are talking here about um, doing, using your intuition as you move through today. You know, I'm going to bring this over here and see if this doesn't help a little bit. There we go. As we move through the day, your intuition today is going to be so important. But what I'm seeing is it's not so much about other people. It's about yourself. The intuition about your own thoughts, actions, and things that you're doing. Because what we have here is all reverse cards of wands, your passions, your desires, of swords, your communication, your thought, your consciousness, your what you're doing mentally, all right? And then we have pentacles, what's going on in the real world. So let's take a look at this. The first thing I asked is, you know, what's the key component here? And I got the shadow card and I brought up the king of wands reversed. Now in this shadow card, what we're talking about here is being a little too impetuous, impulsive, jumping. You have to slow down. If you feel like you're just reacting, Listen to that intuition to tell you, be careful about reacting today. It can cause you and other people damage. Don't just jump in because it's something you want to do or you're angry or whatnot. Then we move over to the five of swords. In this question, I ask, what's, what's the big challenge? One of these things that I'm getting here for most people is their challenge is conflicts they've been in. We're dragging some old things around and we're ready for this, this mental nightmare to be over. You're going to have to use your intuition and take that because if you're not careful, you will allow this impulsiveness to push this feeling out even deeper. You'll regret this at the end of the day of what's going on and everything that's happening. So your intuition, listen to yourself about being impulsive and don't make things worse in your head by the end of the day. Look at these things and understand your communication your conscious thought, it, today is going to be a day. If you want to be a master, move slow. Look out what's going on. Think about it and think about every action, reaction, and how this is not only going to affect you, but affect others at the end of the day, which will ultimately, if you feel like you've hurt somebody or uh, something's not being let go of from an old conflict, an old thing, guess what? It's going to stay there. We've got to try to turn this around and we have to use our intuition to start doing things and acting differently in the physical world. Remember what this is saying here. When I ask then, what is the ultimate goal? What do we need to do today? Physically take care of you. Remember, it's not all about money. It's not all about the job. It's not all about the task at hand. Emotions. You have to look deep within inside yourself and remember that the queen heals. The queen of pentacles talks about the physical you, and this is turning into you. Look at this from a personal aspect. 
I have to be slow. If I want to protect myself against these things, I have to be quiet, use my intuition, and really put on that armor of uh, faith, looking, slow down, Take some time to meditate today. Today is a day to set your intentions, and today is going to be a very powerful day. It's a Friday. A lot of people at the end of the week, you don't want to be dragging ugly stuff with you into the weekend. Take some time today. Don't react. Respond to a situation. Know the difference. And that's one of the things that's going to be key. Making sure you take care of you, making sure you take care of yourself physically mentally and emotionally. Use your intuition. Slow down. Listen, you will know if you're acting impulsively. You will know if you're dragging old stuff around or you're letting that old stuff affect the decisions you're making today. Finally, literally take control of yourself. Guard yourself, okay? Put on your armor and say, I need to be home. I need to look at this and make decisions. Remember, everything isn't about the physical world, okay? We can damage people emotionally. We can damage ourselves emotionally. This is what I have for you today. Take this with you. Use this knowledge. Use the power of today of mastery to understand intuition and go slow. Intuition, we have to be still or go slow so we can hear it and let it ring through. Let the message come through. Bangarang!